Hello everyone and welcome to the Ellie Long Music Center. My name is Mark Alpazar and I am the new music director of the Vermont Youth Orchestra Association. So we thought we'd give you a little sneak peek about the goings-ons behind the scenes. Let's go! Alright, here we are in the office. Gotta make sure we sanitize up, check in. All ready to go. Hi, Bria. Oh, hello, Mark. Hi, Rosina. Hi, Mark. Well, hello and welcome to my office. One of the first things I did is hang up this awesome picture of the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music at California State University, Long Beach. These are pictures of the conservatory from 2009 that were taken by the composer Carolyn Bremer. And here, of course, we have the whiteboard where I have all of the things that are on the docket for the day. And above it, of course, is my mantra, excellence for everyone. So whenever I assign myself to a task, I make sure it's viewed through this lens. Also, on today's agenda are some things that Carlos, my son, clearly added, as well as my wife. And here we have, along with a bunch of essential information for this season, I have some notes that previous students have written me, and also I have a, a great performance that I like to remember. This is one of the first operas that I conducted by my friend Luke Hannington, called The Inferiority Complex of Old Sippy. And then we have some personal effects here. Of course, some of my favorite video game and anime characters along with, uh, this was a tour mascot that we used. This is Ludwig van Koopa, and obviously he gets his name from his Beethoven hair. So quite appropriate on the 250th anniversary of Beethoven. And then we have some pictures. This is myself and my wife uh, in 2009 in Salabreña, Spain, where I proposed to her on stage. It was a wonderful moment that I loved that we were able to capture. Uh, she had no idea it was a total surprise. And here is Sonia. She will turn three in November. And here is Carlos, who just had his first birthday last week. Of course, I have to have my diploma from Arizona State University, where I received my doctorate degree. No conductor would be complete without their orchestral music handbook. This is the book that we affectionately call The Daniels and it has all of the standard repertoire inside of it. You can really use it as a reference to build a program uh, that your orchestra is going to perform. Of course, no office is complete without the coffee mug. So mine is from the plowing competition from 2011. So that was the first national competition that I performed in. These are all pieces that I've performed. These are my master's thesis and my doctor dissertation, both on the composer Nicholas Roja, who I'm very proud to say we're performing on November 8th. Hi, Mia. Hi. Hi, Art. Hi, Art. And welcome to the performance hall. This year for VYOA, obviously all of our groups will not be performing on stage, but to observe social distancing efforts, we will be here, normally the seating area, this is going to be where we perform. And we won't have live audiences this year. They will all be virtual concerts, and you can catch them via live stream. One of the silver linings of this semester is that the Vermont Youth Orchestra is split up into smaller groups. And this gives us the opportunity to rehearse and do repertoire for smaller ensembles that normally gets overlooked in youth orchestra when we are an ensemble of 80 people. I'm so fortunate to give students this experience that they otherwise would not get during this season. Thanks again for stopping by and we'll see you really soon.